really this cool casualty? This is cool stuff. Huh? Cool. Who needs a bong? Or whatever it's called. That wood tables are huge. We're here to look for our living room table and outdoor table. There's the place is in Sarasota, Florida. Look at that. Those kind of chairs. They make everything with reclaimed wood. Oh, look. I can enter. Yes. Oh. Oh. Look at that down. I think it's over here, though. Sorry, no for this. Yeah, that's good. I like that. That's the chairs I want. Look at that. Look the chairs. Yeah. Not my type, but it's pretty cool all this stuff they make tables out of. Uh, yeah, tons of stuff. How about this for a table outside? No, I don't like that. You have a bar? I like the first idea you had about a farm table. Awesome stuff. Oh, there's the tables. Oh, there's the table. And this is what we decided on. This is what we brought home. We got what they call the column uh, leg table and the matching bench. We decided to go for the bench because there'll be more seating. And three upholstered chairs that I've been wanting for a long time. The end chairs we will have to find somewhere else because they didn't have um, chairs with arm, with arm, well, they didn't have arm chairs. So that's something I'm gonna have to find separately. And maybe like a slip covered wing, wing back chair. That's what I'm thinking. So it looks good um, with our decor. And this is an elm, uh, elm wood. goes with our little decor here. My little black-eyed Susan painting, because I'm a Susan. And just the Catholic Church candelabra. Some greenery, our big clock, our nice little chandelier. This is our china cabinet right now. But we are going to get a bigger one because I have so many collectibles. Okay, so let me show you what I have in my china cabinet. I'm wanting a bigger one so I can continue to add collectibles. This is filled to the brim with collectibles. So I like anything that's pretty. I have a little Dresden collection or anything with pink. With a little lace dresses there. Uh, Murano, little Murano mirror. Hoping to get a bigger one one day. And some Fenton perfume bottles. And my collection of little doggy figurines and some bunnies. I do tend to buy figurines according to the dogs I've had in my life. Like our first dog when we started our family is a Jack Russell and he passed away a few years ago. And let's see, and then we have a Beagle that passed away just last year. 
and my first dog was a Pekingese and his name was Boy. I was only five years old, so that's what I named him. And we currently have an English Bulldog. And we have a Chihuahua. And we have a Yorkie, but she's more like a Morky, and that's what she looked like when she was little but nothing recent here is my dog when i was nine she was a pekingese and these were the colors that she was and poodles got some nice painted gl uh, milk glass from westmoreland and some Hands on nest, and of course a lot of blue and white. Spode. There's another hen or rooster on nest. This is my little Royal Dalton collection of bunnies and some mice. My only stife. Hope to collect some more in the future. This is a little porcelain doll that my mom gave to my daughter because it looks like Shirley Temple. My daughter used to look like Shirley Temple when she was little because she had curly hair. And just little odds and ends here. I, current, I recently found this it's a perfume bottle. I don't know if it's Murano, but I liked it. It's really cute. Another hand on nest some Wedgwood and these are French. I forgot the name of them. They're French blue and white dishes. And I currently just purchased my first um, head vase and I really liked her because she was wearing pink and she was $40 on Facebook Marketplace and I actually just went to an antique store yesterday and they go like from $70 and up. So this was a decent price for me. More Fenton glass. Um, there's more Fenton in pink. I have a collection of Occupied Japan, little Renaissance looking um, females and males. My only piece of haul is back there, that face. I really like the colors. I might start to collect more. I actually found this one at Goodwill for 30 something dollars. They knew what they had, so. It had a behind glass and uh, when I went to the antique store yesterday they go from 70 and up so 30 something dollars was decent for me to buy that more Fenton some pink Wedgwood another perfume bottle I recently found don't know if it's Murano or it's just art glass uh, these poodles most of them I found on, on Facebook Marketplace for a decent price. Um, and then I collect these pink, uh, German uh, mustache cups and some are just regular cups, but it's pink luster wear. Some of them say, remember me, thinking of you, uh, a present, uh thinking what is it thinking of me i think i said that think of me uh love the giver i just love it and there's another i know i said i, I had just started getting my first my i got my first uh head vase but i had one i have one back there but it doesn't look like the other ones, so I don't know 
I think it's from Japan, um, but it doesn't look like the other one because it has like fake eyelashes. Um, and this is just different. If you can see that. So that's everything I have. So as you see, I need a new cabinet to hold all my collectibles and I want to keep collecting because it's fun. I love having these things. I love looking at them and showing them to people who are interested. And this is the top. It's kind of like a wine theme with the Merlot glass vase. It's really big. And the corks and some wine bottles with the straw. And this is another recent painting that I got for the dining room by a Russian artist from 1973. I thought it was really nice. So that's it. This is my dining room and our new dining room furniture. And that's it for now, guys. Till next time.